He will ask him to take him to various places and Dale would always be compliant. They would discuss politics, share jokes, and the Bible. And this is one thing I loved about him again. He and I would stay up late at night discussing end time prophecies. And I know that he has fallen asleep in Jesus Christ. And that if I remain faithful to Jesus, I will see him again when Jesus comes the second time. One of my greatest memories with Dale is when he was a little, a little baby boy, nine months old. You know, he could walk at nine months. I felt too. And I ironed his hair. He ran away under the house because he didn't want me to do it. And when mommy came home, he told her that I had ironed his hair. But truly, I can remember Dale, you know, as he was growing up and he was mouthy and everything. And he would say to me, the evil that men do live after that, the good is always in turn their bones. So let it be with Shakespeare. Love to put in Shakespeare. As we call the life of Gabriel George, it is with deep sorrow that we mourn his unexpected passing. I had the privilege of being his teacher at the Sangren Government School. And I fondly remember his dedication and respectful demeanor. It was a pleasure of mine because probably because of him, I came into contact with Pamela George, who eventually became my dear wife. Precious in the sight of God is the death of his saints. We are reassured that Dale will sleep until the first resurrection when God will call him and we will be reunited again. Sleep on Dale until Jesus calls. Wow. It's so hard to believe that Uncle Dale is gone. It just seemed like a couple days before he was posting in the family chat and uh, on WhatsApp and you know joking and laughing. And life is just so uncertain. We're here one day and the next day we're not sure if we will be. But one thing that we can be certain about is the amazing grace of God. He bestows that upon us and it's a free gift. And so I want to share this song with you. I hope that we can be comforted, family and friends, as we go through this time of grief, that we can be comforted by the words of these songs. Amazing grace. Thank you. 
As a young adult, he worked at the National Insurance Board for three years and then taught at St. Andrews College under the, the illustrious Mr. Descent. He finally settled into a career at the Trinidad Tobago Police Service, where he continued to display his goldenness. The highlight of his career being the years he spent as a court prosecutor at the Arima Magistrate School. He retired at the rank of corporal. There was a proud father of three, Damien, Brent, and Crystal, and the husband of Denisha. He loved plants and posted many lovely pictures of his wide and varied collection. He spent time every day in his garden. He was a prolific storyteller, a talent he was only too happy to display at family gatherings, for he loved family. He was always proud to introduce us to his friends and his big nieces. He also had a special bond with his nephews, from Michael to Quasi, and all in between. They all loved him and could tell stories of mischief he got them into through the years. Dale grew up in a Seventh-day Adventist home where family worship morning and evening was the rule. Each Friday, the children were required to have a text ready to recite and explain. The importance of the teachings of Ellen G. White were emphasized, and even the smallest children were encouraged to read and understand her writings. <coughs> Proverbs 22, 6 says, Train up a child in the way he should go, and when he is old, he will not depart from it. Dale's life was evidence of this. Being the golden child that he was, he did not depart from his training. He made it his business to study and research the Bible and the tenets of the faith he was born into. He felt it was his duty to not only assimilate, but also to share and teach. Over the last few years, many have benefited from his post on the Sanguinani SDA Church Facebook page where he posted his deal with the others. On the day before he died, he posted this quote in the family WhatsApp chat. Sabbath is a memorial of the work of creation. It is a token of the love and power of Christ. Today we are gathered here because the golden child has gone to sleep. He now awaits not an alarm on his phone to wake him up, but he awaits that morning when the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. The owners will then be on we who are alive and remain to prepare ourselves to be caught up together with our loved ones in the clouds, to dwell with our Lord forever. The hope is that they will earn his golden wings and be welcomed into the pearly gates where he is the golden, where the key, the golden child, will blend in with the streets of gold. Until then, the golden child will rest in the loving arms of our Lord. Amen. At this time, we invite Brother Rodney to come for your heart with an item of special music. It, was, it is with sadness that we are here today. I know, had it not been for this pandemic, uh, there, there would be hundreds of people at this funeral service. I did some reflection of the uh, you know, because I was in his era where I had the San Grandis and the Adventist Church, you know, much younger. But however, you know, I recall where sometimes the senior ones used to want to box us in, you know, to be like them. But we all are unique and they really, you know, excel. I, I am seeing him now on the courts. He had a special way he would dance that ball and shoot, you know. I remember Michael and, and, and his close friends, uh, Billy Jr., you know, and all these young people. But I am here to remind all of us 
within the joy of the night. But joy comes in the morning. And I want to live in such a way so that I can see day when Jesus comes. I want to share this song with you this morning. Is it, in, is, it is entitled, Oh, How Much You Care For Me. God has been caring for him all his life. And uh, I want to let the family know that God will take care of you. Before the mountains were brought forth, wherever thou hadst formed the earth and the world, even from everlasting to everlasting, thou art God. Thou turnest man to destruction, and sayest, Return ye children of men. For a thousand years in thy sight are but as yesterday when it is past, and as a watch in the night. Thou carriest them away as with a flood, they are as asleep in the morning. In the morning they are like grass which groweth up. In the morning it flourisheth and groweth up, and in the evening it is cut down and withered. For we are consumed by thine anger, and by thy wrath are we troubled. Thou hast set our iniquities before thee, or secret sins in the sight of thy countenance. For all our days are passed away in thy wrath. We spend our years as a tale that is told. The days of our years are three score and ten years, and if by reason of strength they be four score years, yet is their strength labor and sorrow, for it is soon cut off and we fly away. You know the power of thine, who knoweth the power of thine anger? Even according to thy fear, so is thy wrath. And verse 12, so teach us to number our days, that we may apply our hearts unto wisdom.
Oh, how much he cared for you. This is indeed a difficult moment. Yet still, every time we are confronted with death, it stings, it hurts, it pains. Because death was never part of God's plan for the human family. Endure for a night with joy coming in the morning. Reassure them that your Holy Spirit will continue to be their great comforter. May thou continue to anoint their eyes so they'll continue to reflect on the good times they had with their loved one. You, God, they behold your glory. Touch their ears so they'll always hear your still small voice saying, This is the way, walk ye in it. We have heard tributes today. May they be mindful that the best tribute, as it were, that they can ever express is to live a life in Jesus. So that when thou shalt come again, they'll be privileged to see their loved ones. So now we'll shadow them with your presence and circle them with your love. But above all, cover them with the blood. There's still power in the blood. Amen. Victory in the blood. Amen. Healing in the blood. Oh Lord, there's still hope in the blood. Look forward to the day when thou shalt burst the clouds of glory. May this family, together with each one of us, be privileged to be saved in thy eternal kingdom. These mercies we ask with thanksgiving in Jesus' precious name. Amen. 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 God bless you and keep you. Can you be saved? At this time, I want to invite Elder Rodney to come join as we sing. We have this hope, after which we will hear from Giant Grip. Let us all stand as we sing this hymn. Those of us who know it, let's sing it with all that people says. We have this hope that burns within our hearts.
the time has passed spent, spent and what's the use of giving an appreciation? But then I remembered that Jesus healed ten lepers and nine went away without saying thank you. And they were all Jews like Jesus. Okay. And the one Samaritan, the stranger, the heathen, the outcast, came back to tell Jesus, thank you. And it pleased his heart so much that he said, were there not ten cleansed? But where are the nine? So this morning, I want to be like that one cleansed leper, because I am. Jesus has cleansed me from the leprosy of sin, and I want to say thank you to him for that first, and then to all who came here, all the men of God, all who took their part in making this possible here today, to bring comfort to us, and to let God's word continue to get out there. I want to thank all the strangers, the relatives, the friends who have come, and the family, all who have come, because it's a sacrifice to be here for eight in the morning. Mm. Maybe some people would have been just pulling the covers, but we all made it, and I say thank you. Thank you very much for being here, and to make the thanks even more important, it will be so beautiful if we all, if we haven't as yet given our heart to Jesus, give your heart to Jesus. That's the greatest way of saying thank you to God. And I want to let you know that we have something for you to eat. How are you going to do it? I don't know. But in Sherwin's car truck, it's a black car. We have something for everybody to have because you need breakfast. Thanks again. God bless you. And even thanks to Allen's and Sons, if I call the right name. He's a good friend of mine. He is a gentleman to me. I am saying thanks. I'm saying thanks to him because I remember when I buried my mother and I came to pay him off the money. He always said to me, he is still called me Miss George. Miss George, old dead, my brother. Is you alone as he come? Jackie, there is your mother, dead, your husband. Is you Miss George, go home and you know he take the balance of money from me. But you don't try that. He and I have a good relationship. <laughs> so, Mr. Allen, thank you and God bless this institution and prosper it. Thanks again to everybody and thanks be to God for Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. She spoke with our, our preacher's voice. Yes, bless the Lord. Um, even at this time, I, I know it's not on the program, or he isn't on the program, but I want to please the, the pastor of the Valencia Seventh day Adventist Church on the spot. He's here, and I think it would be remiss of us to not have him say a few words. I want to invite Pastor Gittins to come, say a few words, after which he would do the closing prayer. Uh, good morning, everybody. Good morning. And um, it is a little privilege to be able to speak here and to address you. I know we had a wonderful time last night. For those of you who were here, I can see smiles up front here. To God be the glory. Amen. 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 And I stand here on behalf of the Valencia Assembly Adventist Church. And of course, we had our elder here, my right hand man. Uh, leading out today, and that is just testament to the fact. And of course, he has a son of the a son of the soil. Well, I'm his pastor. <laughs> now, but my fellow minister in ministry, and the young one, of course, yes, Dr. Walker, that is my senior pastor. You know, thank you so much. I stand here on the Fulton Assembly Adventist Church. Uh, our two members of the church, Sister <laughs> Jodine and Sister Marsha, they are well loved in our church. Amen? Amen. They are well loved. And um, I, I bring greetings on behalf of the church. I would like to let you know uh, that we'll continue to support you in the best way that we can. Uh, maybe we might not be able to reach the extended family in Grandi, but we'll support your, your family in Valencia. Amen? Yes, Amen. To God be the glory. So they are well loved, and of course the church uh, feels uh, your well, pain on behalf of your loss. We have been praying for you. And we'll continue to pray that God will, you know, continue to keep you and to allow you to grow from strength to strength despite this ordeal. Remember, all things work together for good. 
to them that yeah. love God. And that my sister be this important for a while ago. If you love Jesus, then something good will come out of this. Amen. Amen. So to God be the glory, may God continue to bless you as you press on. God bless everyone. Alright, so let's all start and we'll pray. Father, we give you thanks and we give you praise. We are assured at this moment that you are there with every single person. We feel you, we know by faith that you are there. And you are not only there now, you will continue to be there for each member of the family, for each friend. So Heavenly Father, as we leave this place, we know we may go to our separate ways as individuals, but we know your presence will continue to be with us and to abide with us. For this, we are grateful and thankful. Take care of the rest of the proceedings. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. May God bless you. Real good. Please have a seat and wait for the instructions. Where we shall meet the Lord. 
Could we begin? You can start. Hi, right, morning again, everyone. Of course, we want to thank those of you who made it and came out to this part of the morning service. We want you to know that your presence is appreciated.
But a trumpet shall sound and the dead shall be raised incorruptible and we shall be changed. For this corruptible must put on incorruption and this mortal must put on immortality. So when this corruptible shall have put on incorruption and this mortal shall have put on immortality, then shall be brought to pass the same that is written. Death is swallowed up in victory. Praise the Lord. O death, where is thy sin? O grave, where is thy victory? The sting of death is sin, and the strength of sin is the Lord. But thanks be to God, which gave us other victory, to Jesus Christ, our Lord. We want to sing a song that says, What a friend we have in Jesus. What a friend we have in Jesus. All our sins and griefs to bear. What a privilege. What a privilege to carry everything to God in prayer. Oh, what needs has been forfeit? Oh, what needless pain we bear? All because we do not carry everything to God in prayer. Every trials and temptation. Is there trouble anywhere? Is there trouble anywhere? We should never be. We should never be discouraged. Take it to the Lord in prayer. And we find a friend so faithful. And we find a friend so faithful. Who will all our sorrows share? Jesus knows our every weakness. Take it to the Lord in prayer. And we find heavy laden. Are we weak on every leg? Come but with a load of care. Precious Savior, still our refuge. Take it to the Lord in prayer. Do thy friends despise so sick Take it to the Lord in prayer. In his arms we take and shield it. Thou will find us all is there. For as much as God in his infinite love and wisdom has permitted our dear brother Dale George to fall asleep in Christ, we do tenderly commit his body to the ground in the sure and certain hope of a joy joyful resurrection when our Lord Jesus shall return in glory. Then this body of humiliation shall be changed and made like unto his glorious body according to the mighty duty whereby Christ has subdued all things unto himself. Indeed, the Lord gives and the Lord takes away. But through it all and all in all, blessed be the name of the Lord. Loving Savior, we thank you for the life that was Dale George. Lord, we thank you for the legacy that he leaves behind. Lord, we thank you for having had the opportunity to know him and to be impacted by his life. But Lord, as we stand here today paying our last respects, we pray, O oh God, that the, the desire of every heart would be to follow in his footsteps and to make Jesus Lord and Master of every life. Lord, we ask you to mark this spot for time and eternity. And Lord, when you should return in glory, may Dale raise with those who have loved you and lived for you. And may he find his number among the saints when the saints go marching in. We give you the glory, we give you the honor, we give you the praise. We ask that you would be with the family, Lord, Sister Denise and all those who remain behind. May they feel the peace of comfort that comes from knowing you. May they trust you, Lord, even where they cannot trace you. May they be comforted with the assurance that we can still find a friend in Jesus. And indeed, Lord, you are a friend who sticks closer than a brother. Lord, we give you thanks and an unpraise, knowing and trusting that the promise is still true. 
that all things still work together for good for them that love the Lord and are called according to his purpose. Lord, we pray this prayer in the mighty name of Jesus. Let everybody say, Amen. 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 Let's sing how great thou art, O Lord my God, when I know some wonder. O Lord my God, when I know some wonder, consider all the world's irons of me. I see the stars, I hear the rolling thunder. Thy power throughout the universe is plain. Then sings my soul, my Savior, go to thee. How great thou art, how great thou art. Then sings my soul, my Savior, go to thee. How great thou art, how great thou art. When to the woods and forest glades I wander, and hear the birds sing sweetly in the tree. When I look down, when I look down from lofty mountain grand, and, and see the work and feel the gentle breeze. Then sings, then sings my soul, my Savior God to thee. How great thou art, how great thou art. Then sings my soul, my Savior God to thee. How great thou art, how great thou art. And when I think that God is Son, and when I think that God is Son, not spirit, send him to die, send him to die. That on the cross, that on the cross, my burden gladly bear. He bled and died, he bled and died to take away my sin. Then sings my soul, then sings my soul, my Savior, go to thee. Oh, great thou art, oh, great thou art. Then sings my soul, my Savior, go to thee. Oh, great thou art, oh, great thou art. When Christ shall come, when Christ shall come, with shout of acclamation, to take me home, what joy shall fill my heart. Then I shall go. Then I shall bow in humble adoration And then proclaim, and then proclaim My God of great award then, then sings my soul, my Savior God to thee Oh, oh great award, oh great award Then sings my soul Savior God to thee, O great heart, O great heart. In a song that says, Sing the one just love of Jesus, sing his mercy and his grace. In the mansions bright and blessed, 63, he prepared for us a place. Sing the wondrous love of Jesus, sing his mercy and his grace. In the mansions, In the mansions bright and blessed, he prepared for us a place. When we all get to heaven, what a day of rejoicing that will be when we all see Jesus, we will sing and shout of victory. While we walk the pilgrim's pathway, while we walk the pilgrim's but when traveling days are over, not of rejoicing that will be when we all see. 
will sing and shout for victory. Let us then be true and faithful. Let us then be true and faithful. Trust in serving every day. Just one glimpse of him in glory. When the toys of life we pay, oh, when we all, when we all get to heaven, what a day of rejoicing that will be, when we all, we all see Jesus. We will sing and shout for victory. On what to the prize before us? On what to the prize before us? Soon as beauty will be Soon the pearly gates. Soon the pearly gates will open. We shall tread the streets of gold. Oh, when we all, oh, when we, when we all get to heaven. What a day of rejoicing that will be When we all see Jesus We will sing and shout for victory A little song that says There's a land that is fairer than day In the street by and by There's a land that is fairer than day And by day and by faith we can see it afar For the Father, for the Father waits over the way To prepare, to prepare us a dwelling place there oh, in, the sweet, in the sweet, in the sweet, in the sweet I pray for the glorious gift, for the glorious gift of His heart And all the blessings and the blessing that hallowed him. Oh, in the sweet, in the sweet, the sweet by and by, hallelujah, we shall meet on the beautiful shore. In the sweet, in the sweet, in the sweet by and by, we shall meet on the beautiful shore. We shall sing one more that says, when the trumpet of the Lord shall song. Indeed, when the road is called up yonder, we begin. When the trumpet of the Lord shall sound, and time shall be no more, and the morning breaks eternal, bright and fair. When the sweet marble shall gather over on the other shore, and the road is called up yonder, I'll be there. Oh, when the road is called up yonder, oh, when the road On that bright and cloudless morning, when the dead in Christ shall rise, and the morning grass of resurrection when shall chosen one shall gather, when his chosen one shall gather to hear who be on the sky, oh, and the rule is called up yonder, I'll be there. Oh, when the rule is called up yonder.
I want to do something that mommy always did when she buried her son. There's a song, those who know it can join me. It's just one thing. Yeah, yeah. When softly, for the whole yeah. crew of us, like Bonnie and Kenneth and I, we gonna know that song. When softly yeah. fades the dying day and mortal tears should, cares should huh? roll away. Then with her last faint ray of night, all nature seems to say good night. And the chorus, good night, good night, good night, you know it. May angels bright, their vigils keep till morning light. Good night, good night, good night. My mother has gone. She taught us the way of the Lord and it is in us. Even though sometimes I feel like a But when I remember mommy and every morning meeting together to pray, every evening at set of sun, the same with her children. I always, yeah. it, it's a restraint on me. Yeah, she yeah. did it with Dale and the grants that she had as well. So yeah. I want to sing mommy's song. We just want to again on behalf of the family just say thanks for all who made it present here today. Your presence made this moment just a little bit easier to be. We want to thank of course Allens for their very professional service and also for the graveside attendants for doing their job with skill and grace. That is all about just one remaining item of encouragement I just want to share. Let us please remember to pray for each other. Let us remember to pick up the phone and, and call, send a message of encouragement because this is just the beginning of the journey, especially for sisters, the Nisi and the family. Alright, so just as your presence was felt today, I pray that it will continue to be felt as we continue to walk this journey, as we indeed will miss our dear brother and we will feel the grief and the loss, but together we can make it just a bit easier to bear as we continue to trust in Jesus. I just want to ask Ella Young to just close us off. Let us pray. Our heads are bowed and our eyes are closed. Father, we say thanks for your word which reminds us that your saints in the sight of you, their death is a precious one. We say thanks that they would have lived such a life after you and your righteousness, dear Father. We ask, dear God, then that you would keep us faithful until that blessed day, dear God. And if there is someone here who has yet decided to go all the way with you, we pray that they take this opportunity to grab hold of you and your grace and your mercy and your love and your righteousness. So that on that blessed day, when the role is called up yonder, we truly will all be there. Even as we leave this place, we ask that your Holy Spirit will indeed go with us continue to allow your Holy Spirit, that comforting spirit, that spirit of peace, to fellowship with the, with the family. This is our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.